Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a simple logo animation in Blender. I made a tutorial on how to create 3D logos from 2D images. You can watch this tutorial before going on. First, we need a vector graphic in SVG format. You can also convert any image in PNG format into SVG format. I also discussed converting PNG into SVG in the suggested video. Go to the website and download the Blender logo in SVG format. I will share the download link in the video description. Open the new empty Blender file. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and click on the Add-on tab. Search for SVG, and be sure that the Scalable Vector Graphics add-on is enabled. So we can import SVG files into Blender. Go to the File menu, Import, and import the Blender SVG logo. It looks very tiny in the viewport. Press the Home key to zoom in. If you look at the Outliner editor, you can see that the image is imported as curves. We're going to convert these curves into a mesh object. First, let's edit the curves. Select this curve and delete it. Also, select this curve and delete it. Hit the A key to select all curves. Hold down the Shift key and select one of them as active selection. Press Ctrl J to make them one curve. Click on the Curve Data Properties tab, open up the Geometry panel, and increase the extrude value. So, the logo becomes 3D. Set the extrude value to 0.01. .01. Press Numpad 7 to switch to the top view. Right-click, Set Origin and Geometry to Origin. So, we can center the geometry to the world origin. Hit the S key to scale up the logo. Press Ctrl A and apply the Scale Transform. Right-click and convert the curve into a mesh object. Press Tab key to switch to Edit Mode. As you can see, we have an object which consists of vertices, edges, and faces. But the mesh topology is not good. We're going to use the Remesh modifier to make an even quad topology. Go back to Object Mode. Go to the Modifier tab and add a Remesh modifier. Switch to the Sharp Type. Disable the Remove Disconnected option. Set the Octree Depth option to 8. Enable the Smooth Shading option. Click on the Object Data Properties tab and enable the Auto Smooth option, so we can keep the sharp edges. Go back to the Modifier tab and apply the Remesh modifier. Tab key to Edit Mode. As you can see, the geometry has a nice quad topology now. Now we're going to break the logo into pieces using the Cell Fraction add-on. You can watch the tutorial about the Cell Fraction add-on before going on. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and click on the Add-on tab. Search for the Cell Fracture add-on and enable the add-on. Go to the Object menu, Quick Effects, and choose the Cell Fracture. We need to make some settings in this menu. The source limit is basically the number of pieces that the object will be broken into. Set the source value limit to 500. The noise value gives the pieces some randomness. Set the noise value to 1. The recursion value allows the small pieces broken into smaller pieces. Set the recursion value to 1. Create a new collection for the pieces and rename it as the pieces. Alright, we are ready to create pieces. Click on the OK button. As you can see, the object has been broken into pieces. All pieces are in the collection of the pieces. The original object still is in place. Let's delete the original object. In order to fix the shading problem, select any piece, go to the Object Data Properties tab, and enable the Auto Smooth option. To apply the smooth shading to all pieces, hit the A key and select All Pieces. Go over the Smooth Shading option, right-click, and copy to selected. That's it. All right, we're going to make an animation where the pieces come together and create the logo. To do that, click on the Active Tool tab and enable the Locations option in the Transform panel. Hit the A key to select all pieces. Hit the S key and scale up the geometry. As you can see, the pieces break apart each other. We're going to animate this. At the top orthographic view, add a camera. Press Numpad 0 to switch to the camera view. Click on the Object Properties tab and increase the Y location value so that the logo fits inside the camera view. 
Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Select all pieces. Hit the I key and add a location keyframe at frame 1. Go to frame 50. Hit the S key and drag the mouse until many pieces are out of the camera view. Hit the I key and add another location keyframe. Let's play the animation. As you can see, the pieces break apart each other. We want the pieces to come together. In this case, we need to replace the keyframes. Select the keyframes and replace them. Let's play the animation again. There we go. As you have noticed, the animation starts and stops slowly. It's because the keyframe interpolation type is set to Bezier. Go over the timeline editor, select keyframes, hit the T key, and choose the interpolation type to linear. All right, it's shading time. Press Z key and switch to render preview mode. Click on the render properties tab. Switch the render engine to EV. Set the sample value to 64 for rendering and 32 for viewport render. Enable the ambient occlusion and bloom effects. Also, enable the screen space reflections. Switch the timeline editor to the shader editor. Select any piece and unlink the existing material. Click on the new button to add a new material. Rename the material as Orange Emission. Select the principled shader and delete it. Press Shift A and add an emission shader. Plug the emission node into the material surface node. Set the emission strength value to 50. Add a color ramp. Select the first color stop and choose the dark orange color. Select the second color stop and choose the light orange color. Switch the interpolation type to B-spline. Let's add a layer weight node. Plug the facing node into the factor node. Slide the color stops towards each other. We will assign this material to other pieces. Press Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Press C key to activate the circle selection. Select these pieces. Right-click to cancel the circle selection tool. Switch back to render preview mode. Press Ctrl L and link materials. The bloom effect is too much. Open up the bloom panel and set the bloom radius value to 5. Set the bloom intensity value to 0.04. Select all nodes and press Ctrl C to copy the nodes. Then, select any other piece and unlink the existing material. Click on the new button to add a new material. Delete the existing nodes. Press Ctrl V to paste the nodes. Rename the new material as Blue Emission. Switch the color stops to dark blue and light blue. Switch the layer weight to Fresnel. Switch to wireframe mode and select the other pieces. Switch back to render preview mode. Press Ctrl L and link materials. Go to the world properties tab and set the world strength value to zero. Let's play the animation. All right, we are ready for rendering. Click on the output properties tab. Set the resolution value to 1080 pixels. Set the frame rate to 30 FPS. Set the end frame of the animation to 70. Scroll down to the output section and choose the folder you want to save your animation. Switch the file format to MPEG. Switch the container type to MPEG4. Switch the video quality to high quality. Go to the render menu and render animation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.